MFL arrow time using the mighty MFL mesh which is made from Dyneema which is used everywhere from aircraft carriers to haul around big F-18 hornets and harnesses to trawler mesh three mile long trawler trawler mesh what am I talking about netting netting for fishies three mile long fishy nets in the Arctic Ocean because it doesn't stretch it's the beauty of the Dyneema. It is 15 times stronger than steel, patented as the softest fiber on earth, as well as the strongest fiber on earth. The strangest thing is that there are 1,800 strands in here, uh, obviously adding to the strength and ultimately the very soft element. Loves the ball. Ball sits right in there. Uh, uh, mainly it's light and doesn't stretch, so you've got a waterproof pocket. We'll do the MFL arrow today which uh, has multiple elements. First is it's sort of a locked pocket. Uh, it's locking up at the top. Locking up at the top. Um, so what we do is we start really on this third hole here. We're just gonna lace it up up top, lace the head on, lace the mesh in, sorry, up at the top. And then instead of lacing it along the side walls, we'll put two channels in. The two channels will serve to and then I'm just putting in three holes here along the top um, and the channels serve several things ball hold which is fabulous just holds it right in there and then uh, of course the uh, accuracy so really only one way out like one way out so let's see we do this we double up right here on the center line so this is essentially the MFL matches Essentially like a five diamond mesh. Um, we're using the five row up top and centering the center hole, which is the three hole, if you will. Uh, we loop it around twice here, um, as you see, uh, to, to, so that it grabs the string and doesn't pull on this. It doesn't really, once you, when, when you double it up here, it really just grabs the string in, in situ in that particular spot, uh, which can be handy um, because it doesn't, doesn't strain the mesh any other places. Uh, Alright, so here we are coming across. We'll just finish up the top part. And then we're going to put a uh, uh, two sh essential shooting string guides, if you will, in uh, on top at the top of the head before we put the channels in um, and then secure it at the bottom. As you see, we're just using the three top three uh, holes here, one, two, three, to secure the top of the mesh. Now I got the top of the mesh secure and we'll put in some shooting strings. Now this top shooting string is really the uh, essentially where the, the top of the head is for string, for, for the ball leaving the head purposes. So we don't want the, ever want the ball clip in the top of the head, so we put in a, uh, that's what most shooting, top shooting strings are. Top shooting string is always the uh, um, tautest string. And then traditionally, you loosen the strings as they go down uh, so that your bottom string is very loose, doesn't have any whip effect, if you will. Okay, so we're just, very basic up here. Um, these shooting strings do have an effect, but uh, given that the MFL is the strongest fiber on earth, blah, 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 um, they do, they're the shooting strings really. See this V right here? This is the shooting strings. It will secure it firmer down here, and then this V becomes a shooting string. Now we'll put another V in here. We'll put a V up top as a, as a guide, um, but again, ultimately, when the when the rubber gets in there, the ball, when the rubber hits, you're talking about a, a the ball comes through here at such pace that it stretches the string right out. It really, just turns it into a the the MFL mesh does the work get out of the way. Alright, so we'll just finish up this V. Finish up this little B here. Bumble fingers. 
Maybe have too much coffee this morning? No, never. Never have too much coffee. I think you've had too much coffee. You have a Red Bull. Um, just give it a little sense of itself over here. No need to do more than give it the old hitcheroo. I'm not sure what the name of that now is, but the hitcheroo. All right, so now I've got a V. Um, uh, key is no lip up here, so we don't want it to come around. So what we're going to do is put some sidewalls down. Uh, first thing they're going to do is be guides. Um, so coming in from the back, pretty much close to the center up top. Uh, and then we'll lay it down in the back. Um, bring the spring around into the back. And then use four holes right here. Boom. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we'll put it in here, put it right here. So there's your, uh, there's your, the ball's gonna go up and down. Um, put the other guy over here, the other guide wire, call it guide wire, guide wire for the day. And put the other one down, bring it back through, bring it back through, bring it back through. It's gonna happen eventually. And then your four holes here, boom, boom, boom. So it's a floating pocket as well for the most part, uh, which is nice because the ball hides when it gets checked. And it also, the ball uh, has a tendency in a floating pocket to find the track, which is where the, uh, the channels rip up the side. So, okay, what we see here is you see there's just one, one sidewall string uh, that, 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 that is... That we're about to see this. There we go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Now we just want to make sure it doesn't come around here. So the best thing to do for that is we'll secure the mess because we got a nice bucket here. We got a nice bucket now. All right. Ball's gonna sit right there. Ball sits right there in the MFL pocket. Comes snorting out of here. With the old shoot the moon effect on the V. The ball comes out about here. Um, so how do we uh, how do we secure the channels? Um, how do we make sure the mesh doesn't go uh, into mode, whip mode, we just come back up, we come back down through here, come back up out the side, and then secure one bit, one little side, one sidewall bit of the mesh, we secure it back through here, so shigalaga all right, and uh, what you have is, see, we've done half of it. No more, no more whippy poo. Okay. Now bring this other guy up. Same thing. One, two, three, down. And Bajungo, Bajungo, Bazango. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I lost the string for a second. All right. Now we're really almost done. This is Itsky. This is Itsky. All right. Now let's see. We come down here. I'm just going to tie this up here, and we get a big old bucket in the center. All right, so you got the two guides here, which are fabulous. That's where the ball is going. There's only one way to go. The ball actually gets held in there as well. All right, bucket, the bucket element, right there, right there. It's full, it's uh, it's just as close to illegal as it stands. Uh, super light, 100% uh, waterproof. Right? They ain't changing a bit. So there's your MFL arrow. Enjoy.